Hey guys, I got another impromptu video for you here. Uh, something I'm working on is building a trolling motor mount. I use a hand steer trolling motor in the rear of the boat for reasons. I need to build a bracket to raise it up a little bit on the back end here so it doesn't hit the handle. I still want the handle as that's where I put my transom straps. And also just to reinforce the area so it's not digging into the wood and the back of the transom. So what I've come up with using one eighth aluminum angle, this was two by two. I trimmed off about an inch and three quarters on the one side. So it's just got a little lip on it. And what I'm gonna be doing is mounting it, something similar like that. And I'll do one on the other side like this. These are gonna get screwed into the transom and riveted into the transom. So the wood and the metal. On the back side here, I'm building basically a block like this that's gonna attach to the wood here. Then a plate that's gonna go in the middle that will give a nice big area for the trolling motor uh, clamps to bite down to. So it'll make sense once everything's done. So far, I've cut the pieces of angled aluminum. I had this mounted in position for where I wanted it. And then I marked off where the wood is to get myself a height for how big the block needs to be. So I'm just gonna cut off a strip here, get my width measurement based on the ends of these clamps here. So I'm gonna go a little bit wider than the clamps. And then once I have everything together, I'm gonna spray this down with some uh, oil-based paint. This was already joined together with epoxy in between the layers. So this is already really nice and waterproof. And then I'll be able to start installing all the pieces. So now we can get an idea. So now we can get an idea of how this is gonna sit. That's the idea I'm going for. I'm also gonna be putting a piece of aluminum. It's a little bit more added rigidity and durability. After getting the pieces cut to size, I painted them using black enamel and started installing it to the transom. Look at this monster. It is solid as a freaking rock. And I would hope so with as much as I have done to it. I think all of the bolts and everything look kind of ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece of plywood to fit right on top of it and just be the other side of the clamp. This is gonna go right here. Boom, look at that. I love it. It looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and put the trolley motor on and see how it all works. Oh yeah. Honestly, overall, I'm really proud of this little mount. I know it seems silly, it's just to raise the trolling motor up a couple inches, but hey man, you, you gotta appreciate a clean design. Last step I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna throw some of this 5200 on the back of this here, and then clamp the trolling motor to it. That will let this cure in the exact position it's gonna be used in. I'm not adding a lot, this isn't for sealing anything, this is just to fix it. One thing I'm trying to avoid or trying to uh, account for is vibration of the trolling motor. In my last setup, it was kind of rattly. So I'm hoping by adding silicone to all parts of the setup, it's just going to insulate the vibration some. That looks really good. Let's go ahead and put the trolling motor on it and get this clamped in place. All right, here we go. I do have it a little off center on the mount. My goal is to have this as far to the right hand side as possible just for, you know, weight balance. And <laughs> if you can see, it fits just over that handle. So now, when this is in the correct position, there you go. That looks good. It's probably gonna have to come down some. Ooh, that's too far. All right, if you guys found this video helpful or you just liked watching it, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to follow along with the Jumbo build, I got some pretty cool things in the work here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.